So you're trying to figure out how to upload channel art on YouTube so you can stand out and attract the right type of viewers. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to get that done both on desktop and on mobile. All right. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Addison. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into today's content all right so we're inside of the YouTube studio now the first thing you want to do is you want to look on the left side tab all right so you see all these different tabs the one we want to go to is the customization tab so we're gonna go ahead and click on customization and this is gonna bring us over exactly to where we want to be now you can see it says right here layout branding and basic info so since this is a branding element for your YouTube channel you want to go ahead and click on branding now when you get over here you're gonna see this is the picture for my particular YouTube channel and that would be the one for yours if you actually have one now under that you can see it says banner image right so pay attention to this for the best results on all devices using image that's at least 2048 by 1152 pixels and a 6 MB or less all right so whether you're gonna be doing it by yourself or you're gonna pay a professional to do it now typically when I when I do like my covers for my channels I'll pay somebody to do it probably get somebody off Fiverr or something along those lines I may put together a video here on this channel showing you how to do it by yourself and I also may put together a video showing you some different people that I may recommend all right so if you want me to do that just go ahead and drop me a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply and we'll see if we can get that worked out all right so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit upload so when I hit upload I'm gonna upload just in a, 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 a channel art can't even speak right now um, a, cha a channel cover that I have from my other channel and just to kind of show you the process all right so I'm gonna click right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit open okay so now it's gonna pull up the view of that particular cover right so what it's gonna do is it's gonna say viewable on TV viewable on desktop and then viewable on all devices so like different mobile devices and so on and so on so this is how it's gonna look when a person is watching YouTube on TV right because believe it or not people actually watch YouTube on TV quite a bit now if you go over here viewable on desktop so this is what it's gonna actually look like on a computer I'm not about to save this because I don't want to save this here on this particular channel because it is for my other channel now over here it says viewable on all devices now this is what it's gonna look like on mobile devices and so on and so on and you'll be able to see uh, on my mobile device exactly how it looks it's gonna look exactly like this cut off right here and so on and so on all right and then after that you just hit done and then you're gonna be good and it's gonna update on your channel as your particular cover now I'm about to show you how to do this on mobile all right so I got my phone up and I'm about to go step by step through this entire process all right so there's the YouTube app that's the first thing we're gonna do I'm gonna click on the YouTube app now I'm inside of the YouTube app on one of my profiles all right so now in the top right corner you're gonna click on your picture or your logo or whatever it is all right so we're gonna click on that and then as you can see down at the bottom it says your data in YouTube so we're gonna click on your data in YouTube okay so here we go so now you can see this right here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to where it says your YouTube dashboard so you see it says videos playlists and if I hit more then you can see right there it says 559 subscriptions so the subscriptions one is the one that we're actually gonna click on so what you're gonna do is you're not just gonna click it you're gonna hold it right so you can see something pop up on the screen that looks just like this alright so once this pops up you're gonna hit open and new Chrome tab alright so I'm gonna click that alright so now you can see I'm on YouTube but I'm in the desktop mode but I'm not on the app I'm on the internet alright so now from here what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and hit the three dots up in the top right corner if you're using Chrome right and once we click those we're gonna go to desktop site because we want to turn it we want it to look as if we're actually on the computer so I'm gonna hit desktop site all right so now you can see it looks as if I'm on a computer now the next step is hopefully you can see your picture up in the top right corner go ahead and click on your picture all right now at the point at this point it looks as if you're on your laptop or something right so now where it says YouTube studio I gotta be careful with this you want to do the exact same thing you did when uh, you clicked on subscriptions you want to click on YouTube studio and hold it then it's gonna pop up just like this now the next step is you want to open a new tab in group all right so now it just opened a new tab at the bottom so I'm gonna click on a new tab alright so now I'm inside of my YouTube studio 
just as if I was on the computer, right? So now at this point, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on the three dots up in the top left corner, which you can see I did. And then right at the bottom, you see where it says customization, just as if we were on the laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and click on customization and then give it a few moments. I don't know why it's taking so long. Maybe it didn't click it. Okay, so I'm gonna click on, I clicked on monetization. Give me a second. Ah, okay. And then hit customization and then boom, it takes me to the exact same page. And all I'm gonna do is hit branding and then it takes me right there. So I can literally hit the change button like that. And then I can just put whatever, you know, whatever my cover is or whatever it is. All right. So it's a very, very simple process. As you can see both ways, I know the mobile way, you know, it was a couple different steps, but now you can see, you can actually do it on mobile. So if you're like, you know, a creator who mostly focuses on creating um, videos, just using your phone, then this is definitely going to be beneficial for you. All right. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below, letting me know if this information was valuable. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.